creating a digital portfolio. In your Google Documents, you will find something that I've shared with you called creating a digital portfolio. In that document, you have some questions and you have a link that you will follow to create a digital portfolio. And I will show you how to do that through Google Slides. The first thing you need to do is log, log into your Google Drive account. Once you've logged into your Google account, then you will see the four, the nine little dots here in the top corner. If you click on those to find your apps, the app you're looking for is Google Slides. Sometimes it does not show up in the first set of apps, so you will have to click more to see if it shows up in the bottom section. It looks like this little page, a yellow page with a slide on it. When you log into Google Slides, this is where we're going to be doing the majority of the work for our portfolio. As you can see, I have quite a few portfolios that other students in previous years have shared with me. What you will do to create a brand new portfolio is to click on the plus and you will have a new portfolio page that opens up for you. It's a slide presentation. You are going to need more than one slide. The first thing you should do before we even get started in making it look creative is come up to the top where it has untitled presentation and please add your name. If you want to add art projects or digital portfolio in that section, you can just make sure that your name shows up first. Now it's not very exciting. It's not very interesting. Let's make it personalized for you. You can give it any title you like. And you should also add your name. Since this is an art project, it's also going to be considered an art project, so you have to make sure that you make it creative. There are two ways to change what the, each slide looks like. You can come to the right where it says themes, and you can make any theme that you see there. If you're not interested in doing something someone else has already created, you can change the background or the layout by just going to the top where it says background or layout. You can either change the colors just like this or you can change the image. So if you want to choose an image from the computer, you have something you've already saved or you want to just go search for something, then this is the page that you would do it. I tend to have a lot of pictures, so let's see what we've got. I went to my albums, and here we have a lovely picture. Let's use this for our background. Ta-da! Now I'm going to need extra slides. Ideally, you would like one slide for every project you worked on. To add new slides, find the plus under your Google Slides home. I'll we'll add as many slides as I need to. And again, you can change the background on each one of those slides if you like as well. Let's figure out how to add a picture. First, let's decide what we're going to take a picture of. If I'm going to take a picture of my superhero project, then I would give that slide a title, superhero, or painting project, or first project. When you opened your Google document, you should have been able to read these three questions. We're going to include each one of these questions. You're going to include your responses to each one of these questions on your slide. So I'm going to copy and paste these, paste them into my art project. I'm going to stick them right here and then I can answer the questions easily. Let's not make that quite so big. I want to include my picture as well. How do I add a picture to this slide? The little square gray icon with the mountain, that will give you an image. Now, when you click on that, you can upload it from your computer if you've already taken the picture and saved it somewhere. 
but most of us have not taken the picture yet. So you're going to go on, click on that little mountain and go down to the set that says camera. A box will pop up that asks you if you can allow the camera. That should pop up right here. I've already allowed mine, so that's not coming up for me again. And then also the camera does not uh, work here at the Lankerville lap desktop computer, so I just have a black screen. What you will do is you should be able to now see your picture. You want to hold up your picture that you made. You want to hold up your artwork that you created. And you want to take the picture of it by clicking on camera. That little picture of your project should show up on the right, and then you want to click Insert to get it into your slide. You can adjust this to how you'd like it. Big, little, fill up the whole page, whatever you like. And you're going to go back in here and answer your questions. Please make sure you're actually answering the questions, not just typing yes, because. You are going to create a new slide for each artwork that you make. You're going to fill this in throughout the project, this marking period. You're going to make sure you take a picture of everything before you take it home. That way, at the end of the mark period, you are ready to share the document with me and be able to get a grade. Make sure when you type in here, you're finding me. And you can share it with me. Ta-da! That is how to make a digital portfolio.